how do we find out the equation between a given line and a given plane? We know that the equation of a line in 3D space is given by 1 specifying the point through which a line passes as well as the direction ratios of the line which indicates the numbers which stand for the direction in which the line is headed and the equation of the plane is represented by the direction ratios of a line which is normal that is perpendicular to the plane so therefore if we measure the angle between the normal to the plane which is a line and the given line then we know the equation uh, then we know the angle between the line and the plane how is that if we have the angle between one line and another line so the complement of that angle will give us the actual angle between a line and a plane like for example if i have this tablet here as a given surface a given plane and suppose there is a line which is passing through which is passing like this and i want to find out the angle between this line and the plane how do i find out the angle the angle is of course this but then how do i measure this angle by measuring the angle between the line and normal to it because the normal is perpendicular to the plane so therefore if i know this angle then 90 minus this angle will give me the angle between this plane so if for example the given line makes an angle of 30 degrees with the normal to the plane then the actual line between the line the angle between the line and the plane is 90 minus 30 which is 60 degrees so of course we have to find the acute angle between a given line and the normals which is obtained by taking the absolute value so let's look at how we do this the angle between a line and a plane is the complement of the angle between the line and normal to the plane and in the vector form we will take the dot product of those vectors which represent the direction of the line and the plane okay let's look at the vector form if theta is the angle between a line r bar equals a bar plus lambda b bar and the plane r bar dot n bar equals d then cos theta would be b bar dot n bar cos of 90 minus theta would be the actual angle so that becomes sine theta equals b bar dot n bar divided by magnitude of b bar times the magnitude of n bar so this might as well be written as cos of 90 minus theta because 90 minus theta is the actual angle between the line and the plane so that becomes sine theta 